we need to find the surface area of this shape. Now sometimes when you've got things in 3D or 2D, it's really hard to exactly work out what to do and find them in 3D or 2D, whichever way you need to do it. What I suggest you do is try and build things out of your pencil case. So for this we have several different parts we need to find. We need to find the top, the side, the side, the back, the other back, and the bottom. So let's start with the top. When we are looking down on this from the top, this way here, we can actually see all of this and we can see this bit as well so it's not as complicated as it seems because the surface area from the top the top of this bit and the top of this bit together is just two times two which gives us four if we do the back um, from the back what we have is all of this and this so that is just four times 2 which gives us 8 and we actually have two backs so that gives us 16 this back here and this back here now the side is this bit and is this bit now this is exactly the same as the back was because even though there is this bit here when we're actually looking at it from the side we see this bit here as well so the side is just 4 times 2 which equals 8, and we have 2 of those, giving us 16. And now the bottom is just the same as the top. 2 times 2, giving us 4. So the total, we now have 4 plus 16 plus 16 plus 4, giving us a total surface area of 40. Now I haven't included any units in this, but centimetres squared seems like a sensible one.